Today I saw a beautiful movie at the AMC movie theater called Red Joan. In fact, to be quite honest, it's the third time I've seen this movie these past two weeks. That's how much I loved it. It stars Judy Dench, or shall I say, Dame Judy J Dench, in the title role of Red Joan, who is, although a fictional character, based on the real life character of a British spy called Melita Norwood, who in the 1940s, working on a project funded by the British government called in the movie I don't know what it was called in reality Tube Alloys passed on to the Russia to the Russian government to Russia secrets that helped them acquire or build the their own atom bomb after uh, the Americans had first built and tested it they of course built it as part of the Manhattan the um, Manhattan project which was based in Los Alamos in New Mexico and uh, subsequently the British built it and supposedly this woman Red Joan Joan Smith in the movie but as I said in reality the name of the spy was Melita Norwood was supposedly instrumental or at least very helpful in building the bomb by suggesting the use of a centrifuge in purifying uranium so this is the story and what happened in reality is that she remained uh, undetected. Oh, I should also add that the reason she claims to have passed these secrets to Russia was that after the detonation of the first atom bomb in Hiroshima and uh, Subsequently, Nagasaki, she felt, not knowing the true nature of Stalin, that it would level the playing field if uh, both governments uh, had the bomb. So, essentially, she claimed that her actions led to philosophy of you know using the bomb as a deterrent which of course is still holds true today I mean well we all hear the news and how some small countries use the atom bomb as a deterrent to being invaded and so on so anyway, so this woman was undetected for over 40 years. The British government caught on to her after another uh, spy died and she was by that point in her 80s and in fact the 
British government, as we find out at the end of the movie, decided not to prosecute her because of her advanced age. So, I really enjoyed this movie over and over again, and uh, I recommend it to anyone who really wants to see a movie of substance. I mean, if you want to see Avengers Endgame, as I have twice actually, you're free to do so. But if you're at a point in life that you also enjoy more substantive movies, you will love this. And in fact, I've been thinking that during the past year, the movies that I've enjoyed the most have come out of a studio called Bleecker Street. Uh, and they're usually like small indie movies, apparently very low budget, you know, which becomes apparent in retrospect because usually I enjoy the movie so much and I'm so enthralled by it that only later do I realize how little money it must have cost to make these movies. But the thing is, if you have a great script and you have something to say and you're not just throwing in everything but the kitchen sink like in Avengers Endgame to appeal to as broad as broader an, audi an audience as possible then you really don't need a lot of money if you have great actors and a great script so along those lines we'll all be talking about these subsequently oh and always look to the description below because i usually include links in this case that will be entertainment oriented